Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm very excited to talk to you about a film called The Holdovers, a film that I've been very much looking forward to, and I was fortunate enough to notice that there's a very early access screen that was playing today, rather than the film coming out officially in theaters a few weeks from now, if I'm not mistaken. In any case, this is the latest project from acclaimed film director Alexander Payne. He's very well known for films such as About Schmidt, Sideways, a film that probably gained him the most acclaim with several Oscar nominations to boot. There's The Descendants as well. There's Nebraska as well, a film that I have yet to see and I kick myself for not having seen it even to this day. In any case, his last project was Downsizing, which was in 2017. So six years is a long time to wait for a new project. But as always, I prefer to give artists as much time and leeway as possible so that they can find the right idea Idea to just nurture and fully explore. And I do find that the holdover is a perfect example of that. Once again, this is another example that shows that Alexander Payne is probably one of the most competent drama filmmakers working today. So essentially the basic premise of the film is Paul Giamatti plays this curmudgeon professor who nobody seems to like. And I do mean nobody, students and staff included. In any case, because of his ill-received reputation, he ends up being responsible of babysitting a bunch of students that have nowhere to go over the Christmas break. And throughout this relatively humble scope of the film, we end up exploring this very intimate and humane drama in ways that few filmmakers have the intelligence to tackle quite so deftly. Of course, we have top tier acting from the lead role like Paul Giamatti. And indeed, it is wonderful to see him collaborate once again with Alexander Payne. I am actually kind of blown away that on Sideways, not only did he not win the Oscar, which he very easily could have that year, but he didn't even get nominated for it. That actually kind of shocked me. I forgot that that didn't happen. In any case, perhaps he will get a second chance at the Oscars this year for leading role because he gives honestly one of the best performances of his career. For us Paul Giamatti fans, this is everything we could have asked for. He has an incredible power and presence on screen here. His choice of words are solid gold. Of course, a massive shout out needs to be given to the screenplay that was written, which has an incredible way with words. Honestly, some of the best word sparring I've seen in any film this year. The way that language is used to be weaponized to it insult or make fun of someone in this movie is solid gold. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. And on that note, all of us in the theater were laughing so hard throughout much of the film. It is a pretty dark, intimate, and in a way depressing subject at hand that gets tackled a lot of the time, but it finds a perfect balance between tackling those really complex human situations and finding some comedy in it. Once again, Paul Giamatti, he's phenomenal, but that doesn't really come as a surprise. What is a surprise is the supporting cast, which may equally get showered with love during the award seasons. Divine Joy Randolph is absolutely radiant in this film. She truly has some very poignant moments in the film that underscore some of the most important uh, thematics that the film explores. And even though a moment ago I was praising the film on its ability on choosing words, I'm also blown away, specifically in Divine's case, on the lack of words. Sometimes just her, her her stare speaks volumes. Yeah, this was an amazing performance. And of course, Dominic Sessa, which apparently this is his first film that he ever auditioned or played in. This could be a young star in the rising. He has a very powerful presence on screen here. So yeah, this is yet another wonderful project for Alexander Payne, and I do think it's going to be one of the stronger drama pieces this year. I imagine that this isn't the kind of film that's going to have people running to the theaters to go see it because it's just not a super exciting action Hollywood film. But in terms of drama filmmaking, it's a bit of a gem. It's extremely erudite in the way it tackles these subjects, and I absolutely loved it. This is a solid 8 out of 10, honestly. Once again, I do highly recommend it, and we'll see what other Christmas-themed films are going to come out this year, but so far, this is a top hitter as far as I'm concerned. Once again, great writing, great acting. I'm really hoping to see some acting nominations at the Oscars this year, fingers crossed. But in any case, this is a fantastic film, and I hope you enjoy it. With all that being said, I'm going to leave you guys at that. Third video in a very short amount of time. I'm curious to see how these smaller format videos are going to be working in the long run, but so far, you know what? I'm enjoying it. So, with that being said, I'm wishing you and your loved ones nothing but the best. Take care and talk to you all very soon.